So what is Tunisian crochet? It's an old yarn craft that's being rediscovered today for its explosive creative possibilities. It has a little bit of crochet technique in it and a little bit of knitting technique. So it's really easy to pick up and learn. And even if you've never made anything with yarn before, it's really beginner friendly. So why is everybody talking about Tunisian crochet lately? Well, there's a lot of excitement about Tunisian crochet because of the varied and intricate patterns you can create so easily with it. You see, Tunisian crochet has many different types of stitches. And when you mix and match them together, you get something that approaches magic. So why should you try Tunisian crochet? Well, mainly because it's fun. You, it greatly expands the textures, looks, and styles that you can create. And that's because you can do so much more with Tunisian crochet. If you love watching your creations come to life when you're knitting or crocheting, you will really love Tunisian crochet. You could even combine Tunisian crochet with regular crochet and knitting to create a really varied and interesting project. And that's because Tunisian crochet bridges the gap between crochet and knitting. Maybe you're thinking, I don't want to buy any new equipment before starting. Well, the truth is you don't have to. You can actually get started with a regular crochet hook. I have a little micro project that you can try to see if you like it. And I think you will. If you do, then I recommend buy one Tunisian crochet hook and then try a small project. If you like that, then go ahead and invest in a set that will allow you to have expandable lengths of your Tunisian crochet hooks. I'll put the links below with some that I recommend, such as Denise. Okay, so you may be thinking, well, I don't want to invest in any more equipment right now. The thing is, you don't have to. You can get started with a regular crochet hook. Just rub a, wrap a rubber band around the end to keep your stitches from falling off. And in fact, I have a micro project that you can try to see if you like it. If you do like it, then buy yourself a Tunisian crochet hook and try a small project after that. If you do like it, and I think you will, then definitely go ahead and invest in some Tunisian crochet hooks. My highest recommendation is to invest in a set such as the Denise set that allows you to have expandable lengths of your Tunisian crochet hooks. I thought Tunisian crochet was just for making afghan blankets and thick projects. Nope. Tunisian crochet is completely versatile. Yes, you can make huge afghan blankets. You can make thick, cozy, warm garments, but you can also make very delicate lace garments and everything in between. So you might be thinking, you know, I love the look of Tunisian crochet, but I just don't think it's for me. It looks like it's too difficult and complicated. Well, I used to think that too, and I, I put off learning it for a long time. But then once I learned it, I found out really it's, it's, it's easy. Um, the most basic stitch is called the Tunisian simple stitch. And they call it that for a reason, because it's really easy. If you look on my Instagram, you'll see I have a free micro project that allows you to learn Tunisian crochet with just a regular crochet hook. So give that a try. You know, the thing with Tunisian crochet is even with just this one type of stitch, the Tunisian simple stitch, you can make all kinds of projects, even complicated ones if you choose. And just like regular crochet, there are easy projects and there are fancy projects. And with Tunisian crochet, even the fancy ones are really not that hard if you just take it slow. And my course, my Tunisian course, holds your hand and walks you step by step on, through all of it. It's really not hard. So 
take a look on my Instagram, you'll see this image and try this, try making this. I have a, a detailed um, video that instructs you literally, really slowly, step by step with a regular to me, with a regular crochet hook. So give that a try. So you may also be thinking, you know what, I just don't have time to take, an on, take a course. Well, exactly. Um, that's all of us. And that's why an online course is so great because you can take it in five minute increments. So if you think about when you usually crochet, maybe on your couch at night watching your favorite TV show, you can pause the TV show for your five minutes of instruction that will carry you through a long line of crochet. And then, you know, watch your show while you're doing that. And then when you need the next set of instruction, just pause it again for those five minutes. And since my course is available through any device, including your phone, you can even do this uh, on your commute if you're a passenger, whether you're in a car or a train or a bus or something. You can watch the five minutes of instruction and then, and then crochet. And the nice thing is my course will remember exactly where you left off. So unlike with YouTube videos where you, you know, you gotta keep track of where was that video and what place was I at, my course will keep track exactly where you were in the course and you can pick up right there where you left off. And you can spread it out over time and at the end you'll have this beautiful shawl that you can make for yourself. So why not give it a try? So how should you get started? Click on the link below to my micro project. Give it a try. And if you like it, go ahead and take a look at my online course that will teach you not only the basics, but beyond, where you'll learn all the different styles, all the different techniques and stitches that you can create with Tunisian crochet. You'll, in that course, you'll be able to make, um, you'll learn the basics with the with this beautiful spa day washcloth. You'll also learn how to make these really comfy and cozy fingerless mitts. And you'll also learn how to make this beautiful Tunisian crochet shawl. And it may look intimidating to start off with, but I can tell you that the course, I walk you through all of it line by line piece by piece, so that it's very, very easy to learn. And I think you'll love it. So check those out, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks.